you back so quick i'm home again johnny for keeps this time oh i'm sorry should i say that no not really no point does the old man know not yet how is he oh lots of wear and tear i'm glad you're back for his sake and you me i'm off up to cartridge look why don't you come along just for the ride what do you say then you can tell me all about it is the time have you been? Well, I had business at the bank. Did you? Just what do you do all day long? Johnny works his and my son fits around... Not old hero boy again, please. He happens to be the best diamond man in the business. Yes, and the sun shines out of his backside, and I'm sick of death of hearing about it. Now, where's the brandy? I told you yesterday there wasn't any brandy. It isn't brandy you need. It's work. Now, stop playing about. Playboys don't make good diamond men. Well, then get rid of him. Give me a chance. That is, if you really want to know what I can do. Well, here we are again. How does it feel? Out of this world, Johnny. Just like old times. Do you remember that house we built in the trees? The one brother Benedict had to pull to pieces. Right. And then told your dad he'd done it because he'd caught us playing mummies and daddies. Yes. What a beating I got. I was black and blue for days. If only it had been true, it would have been worth it. But what kind of orgy can you have when you're 11? <laughs> Johnny? Yeah? How about Ruby? How about her? How come you married her? Long story. Little boys who think they're big boys do some pretty odd things at times. Little girls, too. Yeah. Look. Down there, Thunderbolt Gap. The most beautiful sight in the world. It's okay. But I don't see what makes it that beautiful. Because roughly a million years ago, rivers to the south were spitting diamonds into the ocean. Because those rivers dried up, and the tides have been moving the diamonds northwards ever since. And because down there, you see that reef? In gullies on that reef is where a hell of a lot of them must have got stuck. Well, then why don't you just go and get them? Because, my little historian, when we took over the mandate for the Germans after World War I, our government decided to grant the concession for mining Thunderbolt to the big company. Who still aren't working it by the look of things. They will in time. When you've got so much, you can afford to wait, can't you? But I'll tell you, Tracy, I've got the same feeling as a water diviner. There are millions of carats of diamonds stuck on that reef. I know it. I can smell them almost. I can see the shine of them through 160 feet of water. If only I could put Kingfisher into that lot.
want the truth. Three, four months, perhaps. I'm sorry. Thank you. Tracy, the old way of getting diamonds off the beach. I got the idea of pulling them out of the sea when I was studying in America and replacing all that with my boat kingfisher. Come on, you know every trick in the book. Let's stop. Our workaround is all covered. I'm going to replace the shifts and mix up the crews. Good, I think you should. And restrict access to the plant, especially at night. Right. Tracy and I will go and check the perimeter. strange. What the devil's old Samson doing along this stretch of the beach, playing with a toy boat? Why don't you ask him? Perhaps he'll let you play with it too. <laughs> I will. Hey, Samson! Grab that boat.
Yeah. How about that? For me? God, you're greedy. You can't get enough, can you? Never satisfied. Mm. You don't do too badly. Pretty well, I'd say. Just keep on trying. Benedict! It's Johnny. Benedict! Why? Come on, Benedict, where are you? You? He never knew. I swear it. Benedict! Will you wait here? And you keep out of sight. Where are they? Good evening. Tell the old man, will you? What? And tell him he's being robbed by his own son? I'll spare him that, but not you. you. There is. Santa Maria, it looks like hell. We don't shove off one, two years. It's finished, Cappy. This is just frosting. Hey, Johnny, I wait for you to call. Every day my wife she scream. I drink more, more. I come. It's not finished. It is finished. I told you. Let me show you. You want to show me? I sailed a ship before. Not like this. You haven't. <laughs> if she float, I sail. Sorry, I'm late. I got caught in traffic. I thought this was just family. It is. Well, shouldn't... Now sit down. I want him here. Right. The Vanderbilt Diamond Company. I'm splitting it up three ways. One third yours. One third yours. And the remaining third, for you. Mine? That's what I said. You're not deaf. But, sir, I wasn't expecting... You weren't expecting anything, were you? Not a damn thing. But that's why you've been creeping and crawling for years. Now you've finally made it. I've sweated out a lifetime putting this show together. And I don't need you to tell me how to dispose of it. There's just one thing. Your third is in Kingfisher and the dredging concessions only. That'll do me, sir. Every other asset of Vanderbilt, mines, properties, beaches, has been put into a separate trust for my son and Tracy. You will be chairman, managing director, 
and executor. But when? I signed the documents this morning. Here. See that he gets them. You always wanted authority, power, responsibility. Now it's over to you. Right. Finish. If you could spare me a moment, Mr. Benedict, I'd like your signature on some of these documents. Can we? Yes, we can. We will. Thanks, Father. Glad to have your confidence. Let me get you a drink, Dad. No, stop fussing, girl. I'm just tired, that's all. Why are you doing this, Dad? About time I chucked it in. Retired. Maybe with your last breath, not before. That's about it. So what about Kingfisher? Well? She's not finished. I've sunk a couple of million in that diamond barge of yours. And now it's up to you. But what does he do for money? He goes to the bank. The loan still stands. They'll give him more time if he needs it. But now you've made Benedict the boss. Sir, it's never going to work. I wish it could. Now you listen to me. The bank's your boss. Not Benedict. Not until that loan's been repaid. The loan was for Kingfisher. The company. On your personal guarantee. You believe in that floating fortune, don't you? I think it's going to be the biggest thing you ever started. One third's yours. Look, you took me in when I was a kid. You raised me, you taught me, you beat the hell out of me. But in the end, I was a good diamond man. Your man. And you don't owe me anything. I owe my son, Johnny. I owe him the chance. Well, if that's how you feel, Dad. But I can't help thinking it's you who's taking the chance. Damn it. There must be enough of me in him to make it come good in the end. And I have other reasons. Sure. Sir, so, the pair of you, get the hell out of here. You've got more work than time before that bank loan's repaid. See you later, Dad. You know, for a man who's retired, you certainly know how to keep things moving. Are you going to sign me on, Johnny, or not? What as? Now, look. I'm not just a dumb blonde, you know. I did get a degree in South African history, remember? Sure, big deal, but that's digging the past, Tracy, and this is today, and we're digging for diamonds. Now listen, for a start, you're not going to get any help from Benedict. That's as sure as hell. So you're going to need a tough guy like me. I mean, mentally tough. Okay. You tell me. How? Where? Right. On the end of a telephone, bashing a typewriter, stalling the creditors, Keeping an eye on my one-third and yours. Helping you to float this damn dream boat of yours. You really do think that I can't manage without you, don't you? You're darn right I do. Well, I'll tell you something. You sold me, partner. <gasps> Shake. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh! No, this way. Oh. Better on. Oh, Skipper. We've got a new crew member. Cappy, Tracy. Ah, oh, very nice, uh, Johnny. But uh, where's you gonna sleep then? Ashore, uh, Cappy, ashore. Uh, Come on. Very good. But then I make a no harm in asking, do I? There. Look at that. It's my vacuum cleaner. What does it do? Well, we stick an extension on the end, reach down a hundred fathoms, blast away the seabed, and suck up what's lying underneath. It's a pretty fancy vacuum cleaner. The beginning. Let's have a look-see. You know what that is? A concrete mixer? Not quite. I call it my cream separator. Same principle. Takes the gravel from the pipe, spins it, and then spews all the waste back into the sea. And what happens to the cream? It gets dried in hot air in here, gathered onto a belt, a conveyor belt inside here. 
And then at the bottom of this chute passes into the x-ray room. For diagnosis? Diamond show very sharply, fluoresce under x-ray. You probably know that. It pinpoints everyone. So when the x-ray machine reports the presence of diamonds to my computer up top, we'll have blown, sucked, screen separated, dried and discovered all on one ship in one process at one time. Also, we'll have spent two and a half million. Well, the way you tell it, Johnny, it sounds cheap at the price. Costs are close to 100 an hour. 118. All right, 118. We worked at the beach for 60 hours for just around 200 carats. I think the beaches are drying up. What do you suggest we do about it? We're doing it. We're finishing up Kingfisher just as fast as we bloody well can. But it's still one heck of a job. Yes, well, you don't sound too sure. Oh, I'm sure. But Kingfisher is new. It's something that's never been tried before. There are problems, complications, new ones every day. But we're meeting them, beating them. All we need is time. The interest on the bank loan becomes due in three weeks. How much is it? Just over 200,000. Where will you get it? No problem. The old man fixed it. The ship's going to be worth over two and a half million finished. That's damn good collateral. The bank will extend. But the bank's out of it. I don't get you. Well, the bank has nothing to do with it. Then who has? Me. As managing director of the trust, of course, I've relieved them. I've, uh, I've taken over the loan. Meaning? Well, when payment becomes due, I can't give you an extension of time. So that's it. Well, I have to protect the old man's half a million. For my little sister, of course. We can't go throwing good money after bad, can we? Got you. Good. So you pay on the dot, or I take over the Kingfisher for myself. Is that clear? You're not doing this for me, Benedict. But I am, as your executor. No. You're doing this for you. As usual, not only despicable, but utterly pathetic. Oh, come in, darling. It's lunchtime, and I've quite an appetite. Oh, uh, hello, Johnny. Well, that's one thing I do have to thank you for, Benedict. You're welcome. <laughs> Glad you could make it, fellas. Okay, Johnny. I'll take that now. Yeah. Don't be late tomorrow, will you? But, Johnny, there was a whole lot of agro. Don't give me any of your crap. If I can be here at 8, you can be here at 8. Okay, Johnny. Thank you. Hey, Johnny. All the time I'll work to work and no dames. Push, push. You got it two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. It just didn't work out the way I planned it, that's all. Nor for my dear husband. How's he going to raise 200,000? Yes, but he believes he can. That's the point. I know he does. Listen, Benedict, you've got the company. You've taken his wife. And in three weeks, you'll have his ship. Yes. But taking his wife away from him seemed to be the one thing that gave him any joy. Thanks. Don't start drinking, darling. And don't start giving me orders, do you hear? I'm not taking orders from anyone anymore. Not ever.
delivery tomorrow. And I promise you COD. Well, we're not exactly broke, you know. Not exactly, but Bye. as near as damn it. We're right on schedule, Johnny. Come on. Glazed eye and a stiff upper lip. Seventeen more days, still not operating. The loan to pay and almost clean out of cash. Skint. So you tell me, tough guy. What do we do? Money. That's what I need. Well, that's no problem. You're the right person in the right place. A bank. Just tell me how much. 230,000. Tracy, child, that's an awful lot of money. Against my share of the estate, Philip. Surely. Your share's in trust. You'll get the income. Can't touch the capital. Not unless the executor agrees. Have you asked, Benedict? No. But it's my money. What right have you to say no? Every right. To safeguard the estate, protect your interests, and to stop you making a fool of yourself. Why do you hate so much? Make everything so ugly? You have everything you ever wanted now. No, not quite. Not yet. You're still a child, aren't you? Trying to get even for things you only imagine. Are you finished? Oh, no. Not yet. Not by any means. But don't you understand what he's trying to do, Dad? To Johnny, to me, to all your plans for Kingfish. Yes, I... I think I do. But is this what you thought, what you intended, when you put him there and told him to take over? The Kingfisher won't be a loser, he knows that. But he's going to make certain that we lose Kingfisher. Unless you do something about it, Dad. You are the only one who can. Father, I appreciate your concern, I really do, but uh, whether right or wrong, the decisions now are mine. I put you there, son. Yes. And if I may remind you, very late in the day. Why are you so bitter, so, so twisted up, boy? Am I? Could it be from having to grow from the roots of a very large tree, father? In the shadows? Johnny managed it. Well, yes, he would. Well, that's where all the nourishment went, wasn't it? Not even your own blood. I'm sorry you should feel that. Ah, don't be. Uh, we shall manage a happy end, somehow. Benedict, I'm asking you. You're asking me, Father? Because I'm a sick man. Yes, I think you are. I've told no one else but you. Only you. Well, that makes my responsibility all the greater, doesn't it? You're not fit. You're not well enough to know what's best for the company. Go home. Rest. And don't worry. I promise you. I won't let Johnny Lance get away with a thing. My darling Tracy, please try and forgive me. It is not the pain I fear, but the burden I know I shall be to others. The box is for you, Tracy. Inside you'll find every diamond, every piece of jewelry I gave your dear mother. Keep one piece in her memory and mine. We both loved you very much. Sell the rest. They belong to the past. My past. Kingfisher is the future. Yours and Johnny's. They should bring you more than enough to meet the interest on the loan. God bless you. Your loving father. What's Johnny doing here, Mummy? Why did Daddy bring him home? He's part of the family now, darling. Another brother for you and Tracy. You must be kind to him. Love him. But I don't love him. I hate him. I don't want him here. That's a horrid thing to say, Benedict. 
I want him here. I want him here always. But he's not our real brother. No, and he's not unkind and spiteful like you. You're just jealous, that's what you are. Now stop it, both of you. Johnny and Benedict are going to get on fine. You sir. But I told you, I don't want him here. I hate him. I hate him. Hate him. What's your name, boy? Johnny. Then you'd better come with me, Johnny. Knowing you for the man you are, Johnny, I'm expecting you to be against Tracy selling her mother's jewels. So for the last time, I'm not asking you or telling you. I'm giving you an order. You see it's carried out. One more thing. I want you to know you've made me very proud of you as a diamond man and as a son. Your loving father. The house and all its possessions I leave to my esteemed and dutiful son, Benedict who will pay me the elementary respect of not converting it into a brothel until my body is quite cold. Ruby! Ruby, where are you? What have you been doing? Pricing the goods in the shop. Not bad, eh? Mm. You know? You're the kind of a man that makes a woman feel really good. You think I can't? Come here. Check this out for damage. Aye. Right. Hey, I'm sorry, Johnny. It was an accident. How long have you been doing this job, Joe? Long enough. That's how I figured it. And my name ain't Joe, okay? Whatever your name, go to the office, get your money, and get off the ship. I was hired for the whole of the refit. And now you're fired for the whole of the refit, so beat it. Watch out, Johnny! <laughs> Johnny was deliberate and like a word for the man who paid him to do it. It's quite a rig. You can't know, imagine. <laughs> the men say it caused a revolution for the diamond mining. And how's the work going? Sometimes fast, sometimes slow. It all depends, huh? Well, when do you expect to be out at sea? Uh, maybe two days. Maybe two weeks. Sometimes I think maybe two years. I'm just a capitano. 
I cannot tell you. Yes, it's a very fine collection, Miss Van der Beer. They belong to my mother. It's a pity you have to part with them. I wish I didn't. How much are they worth to you? I'm afraid more than we can offer you. Shall we say 250,000? Couldn't we say 300,000, Mr. Stanley? Miss Van der Beer, I knew your father. It was impossible to argue with him, so I do not intend to bargain with you. 300,000, and it's a deal. Thank you. Excuse me, please, Captain. You are a very famous man. Kingfish, you know? See? Si. Working for Mr. Vance? With Mr. Vance. Always Caporetti works for himself. I would very much like to drink to that. And for the lady, too. You must be a very rich man, Captain. Say, Rich, I've got a nagging wife, Bambinos. I like the wine and too many women. You tell me how I can be rich. You should be. You could be. Could be? Could be. Rockefeller. <laughs> that I think not, but rich. Yes. Ciao, baby. I'll see you maybe later, okay? Tell me, how much you think I can be rich? Copy them. You tell me, 20, 30, 40,000? I'm worried. Where the hell is Tracy? Santa Maria, 20 times you ask me. I don't know. Why did she take off with all that money? Maybe she go to beauty parlor. You know woman, eh, Johnny? Look after things. I'll be right back. Look after things? I'm going to show the boat! Yes, sir. Miss Van der Beer, please. She's out, sir. How do you know? Her room key is here, sir. Would you... Could you call her on the telephone, please? Check her room. Sorry, sir. No answer. Thank you. If you see her, would you leave a note and say that John Lance was here looking for her? Certainly, sir. Oh. 
A hundred to win on Snowflake. And in the de Villiers handicap, it's 250 each way. Hello? Yes, put him on. Benedict, have you seen Tracy? Where did you get the money? Where were we? Where the hell are you? I'm at the hotel. No questions. Just come right over, okay? In two shakes of a duck's bottom. Where the hell have you been? Sit down, Johnny. I don't want to sit down. I poured you a whiskey and soda. And I don't want your whiskey and soda. I think you're going to. I'd like to know why, without a word to me. And I'd like to tell you, in my own way, if you'll let me. Please. Right. And it had better be good. Now, remember the day you flew me over Thunderbolt? I do. And I asked you if they'd worked it for diamonds when it was German territory. Well? Well, that started me thinking. <laughs> that rates a 21-gun salute. About history. Hmm, you've already told us, Professor. You took a degree. Now, don't go selling it short, Johnny. And don't keep interrupting. Now, here is a translation of a German proclamation dated May 3, 1899. For a period of 999 years, and for a consideration of 10,000 marks, Messrs. Farben Hendricks Mosenthal of Wintook, Guano Merchants, are granted sole and exclusive rights to mine, win... Look, what the heck is all this about? Thunderbolt, Johnny. Thunderbolt? But didn't I also tell you that when South Africa took over from the Germans... Our government immediately confirmed and ratified all concessions already granted. You never told me that. Didn't I? I mean, did they? Thunderbolt still belongs to Messrs. Farben, Hendricks and Mosenthal. Uh, not if they sold out to the big company. But they didn't. Then how come, years later, the big company is given the rights? Impossible, illegal, invalid. But who says so? The law. I've checked. My God. Where does all this take us? I'll tell you where it took me. Over some of the worst roads in southwest Africa to Vintook to one very old man, a son of the original Mr. Hendricks. What's left of that firm he owns. Then what? I bought it, Johnny. Lock, stock and barrel. He asked 20,000, I gave him 40. Plus a percentage once we're in profit. Oh, there's got to be a hitch someplace, I just can't believe it. That's what he said when I talked about diamonds. He said he was too old to care anyway. But you can believe this, Johnny. Signed by me as a director of Fundbale. The deeds to Thunderbolt. Holy cow. Still don't want? Oh, yeah, give me. Wow. Tracy Thunderbolt, you're too much. You're too dusty, you're too dirty, you're too wonderful, and I love you! <laughs> I guess I always have. Everything's gone wrong. Every damn thing. For the moment. Okay, well, how many moments do you think we have left, stupid? He's paid the interest and handed Thunderbolt on a plate. And Kingfisher's almost equipped.
So when it's equipped and running, how do we make it fail? But you own one third. Does it matter? Yes, of course it matters. It's all that matters. I want Kingfisher 100 percent. Mr. Johnny Lance crawling bust. So how do we make it fail? That little Japanese gentleman you were telling me about. The one who made the little electric boat? Wouldn't he help you? Osaki. Johnny, terrific. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, but will it work? I only make things that work. Like the boat. It worked. This will work, too. How will you get me on the ship? Well, how much time will you need? Hard to say. How much time will you need? Mr. Benedict. This is very dangerous work I'm doing for you. So? You must make it more worth my while. Perhaps another 5,000 rand more? Yeah, you'll get it. I'll need six hours. Tomorrow, you start laying on provisions in stores. Hey, Johnny, what's the work going on underwater? There isn't any. Don't we look busy enough? Well, there was a guy who came up the side just now. No guy came over the side just I now. I tell you, I saw him. Hmm. Maybe his father Neptune, no? Well, maybe. In a black diver's outfit. Wait a minute. Something doesn't smell good. Cappy, get some of the boys together. Search. Start forward and work aft. <laughs> You take the engine room, I'll take the fossil.
Thank you, Matron. And give him our love. Yes, I'll tell him. Goodbye. Well? They operated early this morning. They are? They had to. Damn it. Mac of all people. He'll have to lose more than an arm before they'll get him down. Apparently, directly he came round. Only one thought. A message for John Elons. Here's a rough translation of Matron's Gaelic. Dinner fresh yourself, man. It's only a wee small scratch. And keep cracking on Kingfisher. Scotland forever. But he's right. We gotta keep cracking. So, what do you say? We lose some more time, huh? Looks like it. I don't like it. I'm pretty grow tired from waiting. The same for all of us, Captain. But it's not the same. I'm on a half pay till King Fisher sail. Tell me, when Johnny you want to pinch your behind? What he do? Pinch my behind? But he doesn't. Ah, that is what I was thinking. You must eat more spaghetti, more pasta, huh? I promise you, presto, in a shorter time, you got to the behind to pitch. What? Johnny, I have to rebuild six circuits. How long? Tomorrow lunchtime. I've got to have it by tonight. But I can't do it. Can you try? I'll do my level best. Well, the interceptor is in position. 
no diamond of any size will get through. And the computer will register negative. You're sure of that? Quite. Hmm. It's quite a view. And a meeting place to conclude a successful transaction, Mr. Vanderbeer. You have a soul of a poet. I'm just security minded, that's all. I hate taking chances. You have my consideration. Naturally. He'll settle with you. Dear Johnny. Ah. I was thinking of us. Well, don't. Why not? I am not suitable soil for the clinging vine. You're talking in riddles. Am I? Well, listen. We had a deal, right? Well, I proved I could have you. I proved I could take you away from it. I mean, that's what it was all about. As it happened, it seemed he didn't give a damn, but... Well, that took the, the icing off the cake for me. But you've got yourself some nice diamonds, a mink coat. That's very generous. Yes, that's what I thought. I mean, that's pretty good pay for services rendered. You don't give a damn, do you? You don't. You can't feel anything for anyone. Oh, don't go taking it personally. You're good. I must say that for you. Really good. Too much of a good thing can be bad. Cappy, what's your position? H7, 4, H5, 2.5. We're in position. Lay your anchor. Let go, start what anchor? We're here, Johnny. Start praying.
Cappy, move to grid reference 0 0.23. No bullseye first time, eh, Johnny? Right. Two days work for a handful of crap. Doesn't make sense. What I can see, Johnny. Well, I'll fold it up for today. We'll start again tomorrow. Miss Vanderbeer. Yes. I'd like to talk to you if I may. Do we have anything to talk about? You may think so when you hear what I have to say. I'm sorry. I don't think I want to. Please. For your sake. And Johnny's. Very well. I'm gonna take my ship there. I know that place. Bad current. No! I'll divert the current with explosives. I'll divert the current. You think you're God? Cappy, it's Thunderbolt. Now. Thought you'd gone forever. I'm going. Yes. I came to collect my things. Come here, Ruby. What for? Come here. Kneel down. Why? I said, kneel down! Now tell me what you've been doing. Where you've been. To see your sister. You did what? She's on her way to Cartridge Bay, Benedict. She'll be there tomorrow. What did you tell her? Everything. About her sake. The little machine you fitted at the Kingfisher. Everything Johnny would want to know. 
So you're not going to win, are you, Benedict? Johnny's going to beat you again. He always will. Let's move into the gap. Kramer! Take me out to the Kingfisher, quick! I've got to get out to her. More men. Why have you to go? Now look, don't waste time, man. Someone's blown it. Johnny Lance knows everything. Knows what? About the diamonds, the bugging, the lot. God. And there's only one person to handle him, and it has to be me. Now will you get moving? Cast off. I didn't know you were part of the setup. What, my little brother manage our fortune on his own? You must be joking. Got to be between the recovery room and the sortex, right? If you say so. Well, it's got to be. Come on, this is the sortex room down here.
Good afternoon, Mr. Benedict. You can't take that in here. Oh. Take a look. Here, hold this. Fantastic. It's some sort of an electronic device. Are you sure it isn't part of the system? Oh, no, not this. It must be an interceptor. So much for Mr. Bloody Benedict. So much for Kingfisher. She's done it. She's done it. When I get on board, I'll scuttle the ship. And then what? We'll go across the border. You pick off Caporetti. And the diamonds. That's funny. Did you close it? No. Hello? Hello? Come on. I can't wait to see your brother's face when he realizes we've outfoxed him. Hello? That's funny. I can't raise anybody. Hello, Cappy. Where's Johnny? In the Sotex room. And my sister? She's a with him. with me. It stays with me. Where are the diamonds? First you tell me your plans, then I show you the diamonds. You better show some sense. I'm scuttling this ship now. Huh? And my crew? Johnny and the girl? Your crew will be all right. They'll get their pay out. Now get them moving and fast. This is your captain speaking. Abandon ship. Abandon ship. Abandon ship. This is your captain speaking. Abandon ship. Abandon ship.
he doing? By the look of it, he's going to blow the feeder. What'll that do? Pump her full of water. What do you mean, sinker? And us.
Cappy! Cappy. Sorry, Johnny. Diamonds drive Caparetti crazy. You're a bastard, Tracy. Okay.